Firstly, right angle triangle, find that angle over there in the corner. What do you think of Gary's working? What do you think? This red, red working here? Well, I think Gary. That's you think it's amazing? That's that's uh, that's good to know. What's this about? Can someone tell me what's this about? It's the adjacent. Okay, so what he's done is he's identifying the sides. Okay, now hold on, you twelve. Stay with me. I know it's period six. I know it's warm. I'm warm too. Period six. Surprise, Eliana. Which one? This one. Everything is fine. No one can tell the difference. But um, this is this is the point where you want to nail the landing rather than get more confused, be unsure, and believe me, like we just started looking at this half A B sign C area business, right? It is starting to get trickier. So here's where we really need to make sure we're on the same page. So, just to rehearse, what Gary has done, and I quite like it is he's identified on the diagram in relation to his angle, there it is, adjacent hypotenuse, so cos is the right ratio. I'd add one more thing to that. It's fine, it's rough working, but um, cos has to relate to an angle. Yeah, so cos is something else, okay? It's 11 on 17, so that's why here, probably what you wanted was actually to have that negative one up there. Now, we, we don't actually have to write that, Often, I'll expect most of you to go straight from this line, uh, maybe to this one, and then you started to round from there. Okay. So, are we happy with this angle? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Um, why have we rounded it? In this case, you've got these here, and they're whole numbers. There's no reason to expect we have a really insane level of detail here. These are probably approximations, so it's not uncommon to approximate this. But besides, the, like that's not really the point of the question. Fifty degrees is close enough for us to work. Now we'll come back to um, this troublesome list in a second. We will all do it, but let's see. Do we get agreement on 12.7 meters? Yes. Over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, we've got the point. <laughs> That's fine. Um, <laughs> sense check. Is it a reasonable answer? Yeah. yeah. So do you round it up? I'm happy with that. Um, you could round it up to 13, but the question didn't specify. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Now. Here's where it gets interesting, and just for the sake of time, I do have other stuff I need to show you today. We could walk through, I have no doubt that people have done each of these, gotten each of these answers, and done them by a correct method, and depending on the context, you could all get full marks for this, okay? Let me just quickly walk you through, without writing it, how you could get this answer. This is what kind of triangle? It's a special triangle. Right angle. It's right angle, which means if you wanted to, you could find this length over here, Right, using Pythagoras. Pythagoras. And then you can say, hey look, these guys are perpendicular. So if that's the base, then that's gonna be the perpendicular height. So then off you go, base times height on two. That would work. Alternatively, last lesson, we looked at area of a triangle, even when it's not a right angle triangle. And in fact, even without this side here, so long as you've got the angle that Gary's already provided for us, there's another way to work out the area. What is it? You would see it. Half times A, B, sine C. Here's an A and a B, two lengths that surround this angle. Right? So if you call this C, then half A, B, sine 50 degrees would be perfect. Okay. Now if you did that, who hands up who did that? Yep, okay. And were you guys the ones who got, what was that, 70, which one did you get? I got 71. 71 raised 3. Yeah, okay. Now, the differences are going to come in things like, say, the difference between this line and this line. Okay, now the difference is minute. <laughs> See what I did? Anyway, never mind. Um, the difference is very small, but that's where it creeps in because a little bit of an angle adds like a few decimal points off that it can But you've all done the correct procedure and I'm quite happy with it. 